Hello everyone, thank you for clicking that link and joining me again today. I am so glad you did. And today we're going to talk about Rebel Wilson. I'm not totally sure who Rebel Wilson is. I'm not sure if she's an actress or a singer, but I know she's a famous person. And she apparently has lost 60 pounds, so good for her. And she reveals. She reveals exactly how she did it and how did she do it did she spend hours and hours and hours at the gym or something else let's find out okay rob wilson has lost a staggering 60 pounds over the past year and she's not shy about sharing just how she did it in a new interview the actor okay she's an actor <laughs> you can see i haven't read this um who stars in the upcoming movie the Almond the Sea and the Seahorse reveals the exact changes she made to drop the weight and how she's planning or and her plan is surprisingly simple to follow. Of course it is. Losing weight is, well, it is simple, not easy, but it is simple. Uh, read on to discover how Wilson shed the weight and is keeping it off. And for more on how her favorites, bleh, more on how your favorite star slimmed down, check out Pioneer woman Ree Drummond reveals how she lost 38 pounds in five months. All right. Well, I don't know who that person is either. So moving right along. Okay. I guess this is, I don't know if this is the fat version or not. She's in a very loose fitting outfit. All right. Number one, she started moving a little bit more every day. Well, that sounds pretty reasonable to me. I don't know about you, but. Pretty reasonable, because that's basically what I did. Started walking every day for 30 minutes. Uh, it's just, in, uh, it isn't just intense workouts that have gotten Wilson, to Wilson. My goodness, I cannot talk. All right. It isn't just intense workouts that have gotten Wilson to her weight goal, the star says. That incremental changes in the amount of exercise she gets daily um, have been instrumental to her weight loss. Obviously, I have access to some amazing high-tech treatments, but what I've learned is it's really the little things I do every day that make the difference. I agree. Anyone can go on walks and drink more water and do a little consistent things that improve their lives. Okay, cool. And are you going to share? Because you only got five slides. Well, that's kind of a cool dress. Let's see, she stopped using food as a reward. Well, yeah, I agree. Stop using food as a reward. You're a human, not a dog. Let's see if the dog comes running in here. <laughs> All right. Uh, Wilson found a calorie free way to treat herself with designer clothing and accessories. Well, hey, if it works. Uh, I just bought a Eve. Uh, Eve St. Laurent handbag? I don't even know. After finishing the Almond and the Seahorse because I'm trying to be healthier and treat myself with things that are not food anymore. That's a good tip. I'm down with that. I would totally wear that dress. Let's see. She started... She started working out in the morning. Instead of waiting until the evening to squeeze in a workout, Wilson is now starting her day with exercise. I agree. Um, some people can't do that. Some people can. If you find that, you know, later in the day, you know, after dinner, you're like, I am not. I am not going to the gym. I am not walking. I am not doing anything. I am going to sit right here on the couch. Uh, then do your workout in the morning. I mean, it sucks to get up in the morning before work and do stuff, but if that's what you can do, then that's what you can do. You know, the best kind of cardio or the best time to do cardio is when you can, not necessarily in the morning, evening, or whatever. Okay. While shooting the Almond and the Seahorse, Wilson says, Wilson says, every morning I was up in the gym at the hotel working out for 90 minutes before a full day of filming, but that's just my life now. Hmm. To me, that sounds a lot. And I don't, I don't know if she, you know, depending upon, you know, other stuff going on in her life is able to 
maybe work out multiple times a day because I know that for me, I work, I hesitate to say workout because I don't really feel like walking is a workout, but I guess, I mean, it is, but I feel like it's not terribly difficult. I don't know. It's a workout, but it's not like hit or anything like that. So like I'll get up in the morning and I'll either walk or I'll lift weights on my lunch hour at work. I'll usually go out and either walk the dogs or play with the dog. And then right after work, I'll usually walk some more, play with the dogs, you know, so I'm getting lots of steps in. I'm getting a lot of exercise in. So let's see next. Oh, I would not wear that dress if it was a black. Uh, she wishes she'd start her weight loss journey earlier. Rebel Wilson may be proud of her weight loss. She says she'd wish she'd tried to get healthier before. Now that I know I can, sometimes I feel sad that I didn't do it earlier. Maybe I should have tried when I was 30 or 40. Uh, 30, excuse me, 30, not 40. But everybody's journey is different. And it's no race or competition. You just got to be better than you were the previous day. So... Wow, that was really kind of anticlimactic. I thought maybe she would talk a little bit about her diet, maybe a little bit about a workout scheme other than 90 minutes. I mean, 90 minutes could be like uh, an hour of weightlifting and 30 minutes of cardio, or maybe the other way around, 30 minutes of weightlifting and an hour of cardio, or it could be 90 minutes of cardio. I used to go to the gym and do 90 minutes of cardio all the time, which, well, I tried to do that all the time and... And, and then when I failed, I beat myself up. So, yeah, that was that was a little anticlimactic. I thought there'd be a lot more. But, yeah, I, I agree with basically what she says. You want to make small, lasting changes. And you're going to make more and more changes. Like, your first change might be like, okay, I'm going to walk 30 minutes a day. And that's it. You don't change anything else. You don't change your diet. You don't do anything else. You just do, okay, I'm going to walk for 30 minutes a day if you can. And then maybe the next change will be like, you know what, maybe I'm going to cut back on my Starbucks visits. And I, I just, you know, if I go there, I'll just get a, a black coffee or coffee with Splenda and, and milk or or something like that, you know, or or maybe I will drink one one less soda a day or maybe I will give up drinking full fat soda and drink diet soda or, you know, maybe I will trade out soda for um what do you call it? Bubbly. Uh, carbonated water. Whew. You know, me, me, you know, these are different things that you can do um, to maybe stop drinking soda, making substitutions. You know, maybe after making those changes, you'll be like, okay, well, I'm going to make one meal a day healthy. So, you know, depending upon what your version of healthy meal is, you know, maybe you eat a salad, I don't know, whatever. And just... You know, don't make all these changes at once. Just make a small one. And then after you get so far, make another one. After you get so far, make another one. Because I started out walking 30 minutes a day. Then I added weight training and the 30-minute walk. Hi. And the 30-minute walk. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. You know, um, I did 30 minutes walking and then I did weightlifting. And then I switched it around to where weightlifting took priority and walking took a back seat, which was probably a mistake because I'm now back the other way <laughs> where walking, I do more, way more walking than I was before. I've doubled my walking and it seems to be helping me lose weight along with trying to reprogram my brain. So with like the Beck diet tips and stuff like that. So yeah. And with that, I will see you in the next video. Air hugs. I am out.